Good morning, Magicals, and welcome to Saturday. Thanks for joining me in our space again. So, so, so gratitudeful and humbled to be sharing this time and space with you. Hope you've had a good week. We're up for the weekend now. Love weekends. Um, yeah, and just hope that you're sitting in a good space today. Um, we're going to start the reading. There's quite a bit going on in our in our current energy. So we're going to get started. Um Fabulous. I love this tarot deck so much. It's the Deviant Moon. Oh, love this deck. Okay, so let's get started. Right, first card up. Eight of Wands. Okay, as you can see, she's about to cut all eight wands down, but the messages are coming in with the crow. Okay, now the Eight of Wands is about things happening rapidly, fast messages, quick succession of stuff. It's about speed and action. Okay, it's also about messages. So what I'm hearing here is, this is now followed, just to be all clear, by the Ten of Wands, carrying carry some burdens, okay? So what I'm hearing here now is that it's time to start listening to the messages, okay? Whether they're coming from me, whether they're coming from spirit, well, I mean, if they're coming from me, they're coming from spirit anyway, but you know what I mean? Like, directly with your meditations, this is a time to take heed of the messages coming in for you, okay? Um, I do want to just say, I pulled the cards now quickly, and there's a lot of fire energy in this. In fact, all three cards, okay, because the last card is the Fool, which is New Beginnings, for me, that's very much an Aries card. To me, that just feels Aries-like. They're taking that leap of faith that Aries are the go-getters. They're the, 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 first, um, the first star sign in the, the zodiac. And they're the like, go-getters. They're the explorers. They're adventurers. So there's a lot of passionate, creative fire energy here. It's doing energy, okay? It's very much a doing energy in this reading, just so that we all know. Okay, so messages coming in, you then looking and reassessing at what burdens you are carrying to let them down. 10 is the ending of a cycle, beginning of a new one. It, okay, it breaks down to a 1 and it becomes a new beginning. All right, so reassess what you're holding on to. Then we have the King of Wands showing up, fire energy. And you'll see that he has got children around him. The King of Wands is incredibly stable. Like, it's that whole married with children vibe, um, reliable, dependable, but again, creative, passionate. Um, I'm trying to see if there are any other details that we can, that we're missing on. No. But he's carrying his wand, okay, with the, the, the crystal at the top. And this is very much about you moving out of a space of, like, okay, we don't have the nine of wands here, the wounded warrior, but it would slip between the two. But it feels like you you are eradicating that. The, the nine of wands not being here feels like you're eradicating that, that wounded warrior energy that maybe you've been in. And you are listening to what's going on and you're letting down. You're assessing your burdens and you're letting them down. You're stepping into this energy here, the king of wands energy, okay, where you are feeling more secure, more stable, um, really getting, uh, there's no other way to this, really getting your shit together, okay, so it feels like there's a really big change of energy, you'll see as we tra transfer, it, it gets even hit, like kind of clearer, then we have the Empress showing up, now this is Aries, this is a serious fire sign card, Okay, this could be about entrepreneurial stuff. So for those of you who are looking at um, starting your own businesses or are working in your own businesses and you're concerned about stuff, this very much tells you to listen to what's going on. Listen to your intuition. Listen to, get advice from people, whatever it is. Listen to the messages coming in. Reassess. Let go of what's not working, okay? Get into this energy of like leadership, okay? Big leadership cards here, guys. King of Wands and Emperor. Both fire energy and both leadership cards. Okay, as we know, all the kings are leaderships and the emperor is the leader, the divine masculine energy stepping in here. So very big energy around this today. It's huge, huge, huge energy. This is like decisive, secure, stable, getting your shit together, making decisions for your future. Okay, really, really beautiful energy. And then the last card we have is the fool. Okay, this is very much about getting to this space of being in your power and your certainty and knowing what you want and going for it and then taking that leap of faith to actually do it. Okay, guys, remember, this is New Beginnings Leap of Faith. Remember, remember that I've said to you, fire is doing. Okay, it is about even here with this, this thing, the quick messages coming in, taking swift action. Okay, things moving forward. All right, so beautiful, beautiful, um, a beautiful um, 
transition for you guys. Beautiful energy transition here today. So I feel like a lot of you might be, and it may not happen just today, it might be over the next couple of days, um, but definitely what's coming in, a lot of people reassessing. We've got another big new moon coming up in Cancer on the, I want to say the 9th, 9th and 10th of this month, okay? So just understand, good time to release what you know, what no longer serves you during the new moon. Okay, so beautiful energy, nice transition, stepping into our power, being who we're meant to be. Okay, then obviously, you know, What's kind of happening? How are we going about this? Here we go. Okay, we have Makita. She who sees. Now, in order for you to, to get to your new beginning, right, you need to take heed of the messages and actually see what's going on in this Ten of Wands card. Okay, you need to be able to take, remember we've spoken about this a couple of times, that distant observer vibe, where you take a step back and assess the situation, you need to obsess it, object, uh, ob oh, obsess it, excuse me, you need to observe it, God, really my mouth just goes so quickly, you need to observe it objectively in order to see what really isn't working. I'm hearing here very clearly that sometimes we hold on to stuff because we like it and we want it. But this is not about this. When you step onto your path and when you're doing the work that you love, yes, you may love it. But at the end of the day, it's serving a higher purpose. Okay. We always have to understand that. We need to put our ego aside and let this higher purpose shine through. So beautiful, beautiful energy. Taking that distance observer, having a look and seeing what isn't working and letting it go. All right. And then we have, oh, come on, you've got to be kidding me. She who guides, Maputla. Okay, and it says here, new path guide renewal. Oh, sorry, I didn't tell you Makita's little catchphrase at the bottom over there. Yeah, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it there. Observe, perceive, and scrutinize. Okay, so just what we were talking about. Now, this energy here, she who guides, this is completely the second half of your reading. This is the, uh, the, the tarot part, anyway. Hold on. Please hold your calls important to us. Okay, so this is about you stepping into your power here and taking that leap of faith. She who guides leadership, shining your light. We've spoken this about the... Uh, oh. It's because I had coffee this morning and not tea. I'm blaming the coffee. Dear Lord. Um, it's about really and truly getting to a point where you are stepping into the role that you meant to be in, where you are the beacon of light for those around you. Okay, beautiful, beautiful energy here. And amazing how the two cards tie up individually with the two parts, the two different energies of, of your reading here. Okay, I'm going to just, I feel like I'm a flamenco dancer. Okay, so like... Very, 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 very strong messages coming through. Okay, and then our final message is just like a little confirmation from Spirit. I love this card. I think it's so cool. Ostrich, movement, 2 and 8, 28, have you have a look over there, is a 10. It's a 1. New beginnings, okay. Now, there's a couple of reasons I love this. I don't know if you're going to be able to see, but on the ostrich's back, there's a windmill, and I'm like obsessed with windmills, and I love hot air balloons as well. This is very much about moving forward. And no, it's no um, coincidence that this is on an ostrich. What do ostriches do when faced with ten of swords or ten of wands? They bury their heads. So this ostrich has decided negative, Houston. I got the messages. Here they are. And I'm going to take a look at he, and I'm going to lift my head out of the sand, look around, and he's done that. This little ostrich has done. All of this as well, stepped into his power, and he is moving forward. It's a movement card, okay? There's movement in every way. So the ostrich is moving, the little place on the back obviously then is moving, the wind moves the windmill, you've got the hot air balloon going, there's a whole lot of movement going there. But it's because the ostrich took his head out of the sand, if he still had his head in the sand, he'd be going nowhere slowly, okay? So guys, this is really about, Kelsey's saying, it's really about seeing and then once you have seen, taking action. Okay, very, very, very important. So have a look-see. What's going on? What needs to go? You can't be holding on to this stuff forever. Okay, and then it takes time and you are smack step into your new beginning. Moving to where you need to be. This movement card is taking you exactly where you need to be. Okay, so 
beautiful, beautiful, beautiful energy this morning, guys. We all love road trips, man. Come on. It's fantastic. I hope that you have an incredible, incredible day. Please wish me luck. I'm going to be trying to work the camera today. And yeah, good luck and God's speed. I'm not even Catholic, but I'm just praying to everybody and every deity and everything out there. So I am sending you lots of love, and I will see you tomorrow morning. I'm not sure if it'll be with the new camera, but we'll give it a bash. Sending you so, so much love, and I look forward to connecting with you tomorrow. Big loves, guys. Mwah.